Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video um, is going to be a little bit different. There's no actual live commentary, it's not PGA Tour or anything like that. Just a bit of Gran Turismo 7 gameplay in the background. Uh, some of my horrendous driving, you'll probably see that at some stage or I'm off the track. But uh, yeah, no, as some of you have probably noticed I've been away for, I think it's about 3-4 weeks now. Uh, near enough anyway. And I just wanted to just talk about just exactly what went on. And um, then a little later on in the video, I'm going to do a, sort of a, a quote unquote setup tour kind of thing. It's not really actually, it's not going to be any video footage or anything like that as a setup. It's, it, it's just going to be a couple of pictures. Just I'll talk, talk you through everything that I have at the moment and what I'm planning to do with the setup. Some of you are already aware of the, the future plans of what I'm going to be doing. Um, and what I'm in the pro well, what I'm in the progress of doing as well, but uh, yeah. So I think we just started off with what happened, and how I ended up going off the radar again for a few weeks. Um, it all began uh, just a few days before St Patrick's Day. Um, the little fella himself on the Monday. St Patrick's Day was on a Thursday, and on the Monday himself the little fella as i say he was he wasn't well um and we're doing the tests and everything coming back negative he was negative through coming up negative a few times throughout the week um on the tuesday morning the day after i had gone into work and a lot of, i'm sure a lot of you know I'm, I'm a smoker and my lighter went bang so i said right fly down to the garage i'll get myself a lighter and when i was in there there was two guys ahead of me one getting served and then the next fella and the guy behind the counter, after he'd served that fella that he was in the progress of serving, or in the process of serving, um, when I was in the queue, he turned around and he sneezed directly into his hand. And then all of a sudden, then I saw my gloves on, put sanitizer or whatnot. So, all right, it, it, this is literally just a few minutes after six o'clock in the morning. I was still half asleep, wasn't even paying attention. Uh, so he served the next bloke and then served me. I think I got a lighter and a drink, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Definitely a lighter anyway. But uh, it was playing over and over in my head, and it was only it was a couple of hours later. I was like, "Hold on a second, that fecker had those gloves on. He sneezed. He didn't sneeze into his elbow or his arm or like cover his mouth with like say into his top or something like that. Anything like that. Sneezed directly into his hand and then with the gloves on, and didn't change. Didn't take the gloves off and sanitize his hands or anything like that. He just literally." <laughs> tiny little blob of sanitizer around the gloves and it took a little while to process it was only when I woke up and, I, and on the Wednesday I was feeling tired now I didn't sleep overly well on the Tuesday night um, and on the Wednesday I was kind of feeling tired I was just feeling a little bit achy and I was like that's probably just yeah because I, I'd forgotten all about the follow the, the previous morning um, at, this, at, at that time and uh, I was a bit achy and then on Thursday morning St Patrick's Day itself I woke up and I felt like I had been hit by a truck. I just aches from head to toe, freezing, smothering. It, ju it just came on me out of the blue. Uh, well, as far as I was aware, out of the blue. Now, I, I say, I did mention a moment ago, the little fella wasn't well himself. So I was thinking maybe I've caught whatever he has. He's been tested negative. And um, so on the Friday morning, uh, everybody in the house tested positive. For uh, for the COVID, so I ended up being out with that. No, I was playing. I was strung out on uh, Gran Turismo Seven, which is playing in the background at the moment. And then I was kind of. I just wasn't in the mood. You know yourself when you're not feeling well. You're not really in the mood. You're like uh, just just lounging around, just watching bits of YouTube, Netflix, whatever, and all that sort of stuff. And I started feeling a little bit better um, after the weekend on the Monday. I said, right, I think it was only just a few days, kind of over it now hopefully now uh, get back on track tuesday morning round two it decided to hit me and it hit me like a ton of bricks and uh so yeah this is the following week this is after after st patrick's day and uh absolutely knocked this stuff and clean out of me for the remainder of the week and into the following week again um where i was still still testing positive but i was uh, at that stage then over the worst of it but in the meantime what had been happening was i was uh as I say, I was strung out on Gran Turismo. I've been playing that, but I wasn't really in the mood for it. I was forcing myself, forcing, 100% forcing myself to play PGA Tour. Playing um, T3 
TGC Tours rounds, any society events, and I was like, will I record, won't I record? And I don't know if anybody else is the same, but when you're getting over the likes of a cold flu or even the COVID or anything like that, um, that I, I always know I always know when the when a virus is pretty much on its way out of me because I always get that horrible tickly cough and you're lucky if you can string one sentence together uh, without getting a fit of the coughs and you, you just you can't even breathe you're coughing that much so that was that was putting me off recording as well um, but what happened was as well I just you know how if you're playing a game so much you'll get burnout on it so for example Gran Turismo 7 or PGA Tour um, I thought that's what it was I thought oh, I'm just burnt out on the games I just literally was not in the mood to play either of them but what it turned out then was I was actually I was it was it was like it felt like burnout on games but it was across all games not just Gran Turismo 7 which I'd been hammering out of it um, constantly and then just dabbing on PGA Tour but I just PGA Tour Gran Turismo 7 absolutely no games were interesting me at all I sat there one evening for no messing it must have been about 45 50 minutes scrolling through my library on the ps5 and on the ps4 as well with some of the games that i still have on inst have installed on there and absolutely nothing nothing at all was interesting me i was just like i want to play i want to play something i want to just forget about the world just zone out. i'm not going to be recording or anything like that i just want to zone out for a couple of hours and just play something and uh yeah as i say about 45 50 minutes easily i just sat there um, I'll say just looking through all the games that were either installed or not installed that I could have just taken a couple of minutes just to download and absolutely nothing was interesting me at all. I'll say I was forcing myself to play the likes of PGA Tours. I was trying to play a bit more Gran Turismo and a couple of other games that I hadn't got much done. So I was, right, can I try and get some more done on that? And uh, yeah, then I just, I just realised I'm just not interested at all whatsoever. And now, I mean, I do as well. Um, not many people know, but I do suffer. I'm nowhere near as bad, I don't feel, as what I used to be. I mean, a couple of years ago, I was in a bad spot with it. But um, I do suffer a little bit with depression as well. Um, and I was thinking, maybe it's just that. Maybe it's because of not being not well. Maybe that would, like, because that can just creep up on you. Just out of the blue. Just all of a sudden, just bang, flick of a switch. And you're just, everything's black around you. You just, you're not interested in anything whatsoever. So I was thinking maybe a bit of that, but it wasn't really, it was just that knocking the stuffing out of me for well over a week and uh, then just losing, just losing interest. Like I, I wasn't feeling the depression side, but I was wondering, was it that sort of coming in as well? But it wasn't, it was just, it was just pure and utter burnout. So um, I've been, I've been starting to get myself back into it. What I've actually been playing, I've actually gone back to playing it is um, Red Dead Redemption 2. And that has was <laughs> actually got me back into into the games. It was uh, funny enough. It was just I happened to be scrolling through Facebook, and I'd see, I saw two posts, one after the other. One was about uh, Arthur's hat, and somebody had discovered the 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 story of it. Which, I mean, I'm sure most of you are aware. If you haven't played Red Dead Two by now, I don't know. If possibly living under a rock, um, but that Ar Arthur's hat it was was originally his father's hat and stuff like that. Um, and then I saw another post about another player had discovered a very rare phenomenon happening in the game i i haven't i've never seen it myself i've played through it a couple of times already but uh, it was something to do as a meteor shower or something like that and i said you know what reinstall it because i had got that uh well i have got it installed on the ps4 but uh, i said download it um onto the ps5 uh install it there and i've been playing through that since and i've been having great fun playing through that um over the last last few days guts of a week now um so i'm hoping uh let me see what day is today today is tuesday uh tuesday 12th of april right now as i am recording so i'm hoping that sometime i'm off work actually for this week i had to take work, uh, the week off work for the easter holidays with the kids off school and stuff um so hopefully at some point during this week i will be able to get um or i will have the chance and the motivation to get a to get a course playthrough up on PGA Tour, I do. Ha I've literally I've actually had a course lined up, ready to go, since just after I um I wasn't well, um I wa I wasn't well. And I was looking through and I was saying right when I'm feeling a bit better I'll do this. But as I say, I just lost all interest in everything. Um, so hopefully I can get that up. I, there's probably already course playthroughs up of it, but sure I'll I'll throw it up on the channel anyway just to get it kicked off again. 
But uh, yeah, so as I say, that is where I've been and what's been going on. Um, also, some of you will be aware that I am also in the progress of getting parts to build a PC. Um, now, I don't have many of the parts, four parts at the moment, which uh, when we get on to, when I show the, uh, the pictures, I will apologise actually as well in advance that if you're watching on phone or anything like that, you're probably not going to be able to see that clearly because uh well the best way for me to get the photos was in portrait mode so i will apologize if you can't see it overly clearly if you're watching on a phone um but at the moment i do i have the case the motherboard the cooler for the cpu and the power supply and i'm hoping in the next couple of weeks now i get the ram and the cpu um graphics card prices and stuff like that they're slowly but surely coming down to coming back down to reality back down to retail price or msrp whatever you want to call it still a little bit high the graphics card that i actually want to get is it's the rog strix um 3080 ti the overclock edition from asus um at the moment like there's one place there's a f actually there's a few places still selling that for over two thousand euro i think one the highest i've seen is two and a half thousand um but i have seen on amazon that i've seen them as low as in between 15 1600 but throw in the ship and then it was bumping it up to around about bloody 1800 euro i said i'll just wait i'll give it another couple of months maybe just see if that comes down i am planning to leave the graphics card until last anyway um to be honest actually i might leave the cpu until last because the ram and stuff won't be too bad but the fear that i have is anything being dead on arrival basically and uh, well those of you who are in the pc world will know that the parts aren't exactly cheap <laughs> so uh yeah what i'll do is i'll throw I'll throw um i'll go between a couple of pictures because uh one of them is daylight you'll be able to see maybe some parts a little bit better but uh the one that you can see on screen now i do just have the curtains closed it is still during the day but uh, i'll just walk you through everything that i do actually have at the moment now i mean i've been working this setup for about about a year now near enough uh, yeah about coming up on a year well, not everything that you see in the picture, but uh, before that, I was just basically sitting on the couch and I was uh, playing on the TV and recording that way. Um, but we'll start off with the desk itself. Um, so if anybody is looking to do themselves a setup, if you don't, if already have one, um, or you're looking to get a desk, I do rec highly recommend this desk. It's the Freddy desk from Ikea. Um, it, is, it is a great desk. And as I say, I do highly recommend it. The one thing the one thing that I hate about the desk, absolutely hate about it, because it's great for a space saving. Like, I'm literally just in an alcove between the chimney and the window here, <laughs> where I have all this set up. Um, but the one thing that I do hate about it, it is the ultimate dust magnet. I mean, I'm literally, like, I cleaned everything down here just before taking this, uh, this photo uh, not long ago. And I'm looking at it now. I only cleaned this. I only cleaned the desk down less than a week ago, and I'm looking at it now, and... It actually looks like it hasn't it the, just dust wise dust wise it look just looks like it hasn't been cleaned in at least a month so i'm actually i think i'll actually after i finish recording this video pull everything off and uh clean everything down again as i say that is the only downside that i have for the desk is that it is just the ultimate ultimate dust magnet um but obviously then as you, as you can see down the the bottom right on the shelf you can see the ps5 there the original plan for the setup was that once I got the, the PC built, the PS5 would shift over to the shelf on the left hand side, which you can just see the chair there. Um, just on that shelf now at the moment, it's just a, it's a, you'll see the speakers up on the shelves. That's just an LG stereo, nothing overly expensive. Just needed to, to get some speakers. I'm just looking at the photo now and just whatever way the flash from the camera is, it actually looks like my monitor's warped up at the top. <laughs> Strangely enough, I don't know why, but just whatever way it's going. But uh, yeah, so the PS5 was going to shift over anyway onto the left shelf and then the PC would have sat on the right. But um, I'll touch more on that now in a few minutes. Um, where else we go? We'll move up then, as I say, you can't really see it here. Um, I'll throw up the, the other picture, the daylight picture, where you can see it just underneath the, on the right hand side. Uh, you'll see the PlayStation icon lights um, underneath, on, underneath that under the shelf is that's where the ps4 is in the center this is all underneath the shelf now uh, you'll see a little red red container there that's just all the the drivers stuff uh, to uh screwdriver bits that if i'm pulling apart the ps5 or the ps4 and i have to clean them out um just for the torques and stuff um and if i could stop clicking off because i'm i'm doing the picture now on the phone at the moment 
Uh, let me see, the other small bits are say, left of the monitor you've got the PlayStation icons flow lamp, um, sort of like a lava lampy type thing. Um, then obviously I mentioned the, the icons light underneath the, the right hand speaker. Underneath the monitor in the middle, we've got the PlayStation, uh, the DualShock 4 controller light. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The monitor itself is the 27 inch Acer Nitro VG270UP which is 1440p monitor, it's 144 hz refresh rate and 1 millisecond response time. Uh, great monitor, do it's a budget friendly monitor as well. And I, ha I haven't noticed them around that much, it might be a di bit difficult to track down, but if you are looking for a decent monitor, um, it is it is a great monitor, I do recommend that. Uh, it has, uh, is it FreeSync? Yeah, I think it has FreeSync on it as well. Um, as I say then, the stereo itself, just for the speakers, um, that's just an LG. I can't even remember what model that is. It was like hundred, just hundred euro stereo. Just right, give me that. Need speakers. Um, the headphones, uh, the microphone actually that you can see. Uh, the microphone that I do use is the Elgato Wave Three microphone. And uh, you see, it's mounted onto its own sh its particular shock mount. It has the pop filter, and that's all mounted onto the Rode PSA One Boom arm. Um, let me see the headphones. The headphones that you can see sitting on the desk beside the DualSense controller. That is the Turtle Beach Recon 500 headset, I think, which I just connect directly into the back of the Wave 3 microphone. Um, it does have its own detachable microphone on the headset as well, but I prefer using the, the Wave 3. Obviously, it's a much better sound quality. Um, you can see some cables hanging up. Uh, that's just charging cables and stuff. And obviously, I always play wired. I have all the usb hubs and stuff like that mounted to the underside of the desk um i'm not going to bother going in but i have everything obviously cable tied and stuff like that is one great thing as well about this desk is under the main the main body of the desk or at the back of it there's a whole panel along there that you can run all your cables along you'll obviously have to get your own uh cable mounting stuff and all that but it's it's great for that as well you can mount and hide the cables out of sight um just got a toshiba laptop just to see the, the white laptop there, just in behind the headphones, under the shelf as well. Um, in the middle, actually, under the shelf is Western Digital external hard drive, one terabyte, if I remember correct, uh, which is connected up to the PS4. Um, I actually desperately do need to get uh, expanded storage for the PS5. I am running very, very low on storage. Um, and I think I'm going to get the... It's either the Fire Cuda or the Samsung 980 M.2 for that one terabyte there, not too bad in price at the moment. But uh, the other set of headphones you can see hanging up on the hook behind the monitor, that is the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 uh, Bluetooth headset. Um, that's a great headset as well, great audio on that, do love that. Um, let me see, what else? Moving up onto the top, up onto the top shelf, as you can see, you've got the, we'll start from right to left, I do still need to get a frame for it, but that is the blueprint map sort of um from gta 5 uh down below that then obviously we've got the pga tour 2k21 uh stuff that 2k very kindly sent out to me just bef uh, be just before launch of 2k21 um unfortunately the t-shirt ended up through the dryer by mistake and the print on that got wrecked on me unfortunately but uh, i've got the uh, the gutter glasses there and the i think it's the melbourne yeah i think it's melbourne Melbourne hat and the three Adidas uh, golf balls as well there. Uh, moving into the middle then, we've got um, Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 and Agent 47 obviously and then the Hitman 2, yeah Hitman 2 uh, special edition, the, the case, there's a coin there as well with the Hitman logo on it and you can't see it in this picture but there's actually a, key ring, a bullet key ring there as well and then you've got the little rubber ducky up on top. The little explosive rubber ducky. Moving up above that then you'll see obviously my logo on a print that's from a company called Optimal Print, and so any photograph that you have, if you ever want, if you want to get like a metal print um, done up, you can do, now this is on brushed aluminium, I was going to go with just a plain white background, but I liked actually the way that it was coming across and the aluminium, so I got that, I actually have two of them, they sent me two by mistake, um, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend them if you're looking to get any sort of metal print of uh, any photographs, you can get frames around them as well. Um, up above that then, we've got the a little uh, basketball poster, double-sided poster actually, that was uh, part of the 2K Next Makers kit, which you can see on the left. Um, so just pop that up there for a little space filler temporarily at the moment. I'll find somewhere else for that when I do sort out to get the setup. Then we've got the actual 2K um, Next Maker kit, which in front of that, just on the right-hand side, is the little notebook 
that came with the prestige edition i think it was of modern warfare 2 uh the little thank you card from uh, from 2k then in the middle and then obviously heisenberg sitting on the left i have to find i have jesse somewhere as well and i have a couple of them from um bloody hell what's it called sons of anarchy uh, i have to find them they're, they're in somewhere put them up on the display but the actual box itself weighs a ton um very nice uh solid wood box i can't remember what wood it is uh but inside that is actually um you might have seen it in the the daylight picture there i don't have it on the chair at the moment it was the uh the bomber jacket from 2k itself with the uh with my name on there as well on the i can't remember the little tab tag thing can't remember what you call them um inside the box though is, as i say is the jacket at the moment but there's also a second um elgato wave 3 microphone in there so thankfully have a backup if this one goes bang on me um and there's also which will be getting used once i do get the pc done is in what you call it the elgato stream deck uh so at the moment that's just sitting in storage waiting to be used and then you'll see some of the pc parts then up on top so the pc parts themselves um underneath the desk you can see the that's the case that's the corsair 4000 the airflow case um so I, that was the first part that i got uh after that then was it, i think it was the cooler i got but we'll start from bottom to top on the bottom the red box you can see that's the asus rog strix x570f game and motherboard um the cooler is the core did i say corsair no i said asus yeah <laughs> <laughs> getting mixed up between uh, Asus and Corsair. I'll probably do that. But the cooler is the Corsair H150i Elite LCD 360mm AIO water cooler. Um, and then finally then on top we have the Corsair RM850X power supply. So as I say, I do still have a number of parts to get. Some of them are going to be a little bit quicker to get than others. But um, what else? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention the little uh, Funkos from uh, of uh, Sub Zero and Raiden. There, I'm still trying to find Scorpion and Liu Kang to finish off that set. Cannot for the life of me find them anywhere. Everywhere I go, they're all sold out, even online. But uh, I'm sure I'll pick them up at some stage. But that is that's my setup now at the moment. The chair as well, actually, just in case you're wondering, is I will need to actually upgrade because you can probably hear that creaking now at the moment. It's a little bit old. Um, that's the X Rocker Strike chair. It is very it is a very comfortable chair it's just i'm not sure i think underneath the starting to wear i'd still need to get under there and have a look um but it is a, a little bit on the creaky side and i'm fearing that one day i'm going to recline back it and and end up on the floor um but uh, yeah that's the that's the setup that i have at the moment anyway um but what i did want to touch on is the fact that um i'm hoping to start the process of expanding it um mid to latter part of the summer it all depends on how it goes for acquiring more parts of the pc because what i actually as i mentioned earlier what i wanted what i originally planned to do was have the, P, uh, the ps5 moved over to the left shelf under the desk and then have the pc itself sitting on the right where you can obviously see through the the glass side panel but what i want to do now is i actually want to expand it um completely and do this uh, do a whole uh, keep, still keep all this desk for when I'm recording um, whatnot um, and, and playing on the PC itself but then obviously have a, a whole setup where I'll have the, the 4k TV um, which is sitting off to the side of me now at the moment the other side of the chimney um, have that up on the get I'll get a countertop or tabletop or something like that run along the wall plan is to kind of have floating um, but have the PC up on there as well have the PS5 beside the TV the PS4 beside the other side of the TV so on so forth really just to expand out the uh, the setup as well just to get more space because uh, it, it'll probably get a little bit too a little bit too crowded and cramped and uh, looking very overly it probably looks a little bit over cluttered now at the moment that I have uh, what I have but I think uh, once I start expand, uh, getting all the other stuff um, it'll look just a little bit too much so uh, that is the plan um, for what I want to do there as I say hopefully mid to late summer is when I'm going to be actually doing the expanding so just I I just basically want to make us aware that uh, I could potentially vanish off for a week or two I am going to try and again be a bit more regular I'm not having an actual schedule for uploads but uh, just um I'll try and get at least one or at least a couple of videos out each week anyway and say later on this week hopefully i will have the next course play through and get that ball rolling again um but what i want to do yeah as i as i say probably the latter half of the summer is when i'm going to be starting to do that expand and get all the stuff in to get to build that uh, whole 
the whole setup and have it sort of level with the desk get ever, get everything done set up um so if i do vanish off as i say for a week or two just once i do get everything in um and getting all that set up and hopefully by that stage i will be then beginning the transition over to be pc um so those is even though i'm very rarely seen online on psn um i will probably unless there is specific games to psn and playstation um I probably won't be seen very very often at all very very rarely in fact is when i'll be seen on um on psn i'll be more so on the pc because there's just so much i love simulation games and there's just so much more options on there and there are a couple a few games that i've that i do have on the radar that are either just about to come out or are coming out later on in the year um and then obviously whenever the next pga game comes out i'll be having that on pc as well um so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much everything. I just wanted to let you know just where I've been, what's what's been happening, and uh, just give you a little bit of a tour, just if you're ever wondering what my setup is and what it currently is anyway. And uh, who knows, hopefully maybe in the next few months there will be an actual video of a proper setup tour and uh, show you everything that I have. And, well, once I get it to what I what I have pictured in my head anyway. But, uh, yeah, I think I've rambled on for long enough. Uh, we're just coming up on, what, about 25, 26 minutes or so of me waffling on and waffling the eardrums out of you. But, uh, as I say, I did just want to let you know where I was, what was going on the last few weeks as to why there has not been any uploads. So that is where we will leave this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did find it... Uh, find it uh, entertaining. I don't even know what way to say it. If you did like it... Uh, do drop it a like uh, feel free to comment down below if you haven't done so already and you do enjoy the content on the channel I know we have had a few new uh, new people subscribe uh, while I've been away but uh, yeah do consider subscribing if you haven't done so already I will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now